Capricorn, this is Michelle. I am the Baby Witch del Tarot, and today I'm coming with your reading. Quick reminder that my readings, um, they have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will, and not everything is going to resonate with everybody, right? Uh, also, just remember that these are only energy readings of the situation. More like a mirror. At the end, you guys are capable to take your own decisions, okay? With that said, let me start. Let's see what the universe has for you. Um, let me see. Let's tell me. They're telling me to take the Moonology for a Let's see. Let's see what we got. One card at a time, please. Just one card. We got two. Whoa. This is intense. Your commitment has been tested what do you need to release what is holding you back Capricorn what is holding you back that's what I'm hearing what is holding you back whoa that's an, an intense message there we're gonna take a look at that in a second wow that's interesting Okay, let's see. What is the commitment card about? About what? Let's see. What is the commitment card about? What is the commitment card about? Hmm, one more, one more. Thank you. Okay. Your commitment is like trust. You have to have trust and faith. I feel like you have a little bit of a, you have been a little bit stuck within your financial and your career. But it's like you have to have faith and trust that things are going to change for the better. And that's what I told you in the beginning. Um, I was going to tell you that there is a change, a shift of energies, a change of luck to your, coming your way. I thought I said it, but I thought I just thought of it and, didn't, and never said it. And then also, your commitment has been tested because I feel you have been stuck in having, like, lack of faith and trust in the change of career and it's calling in your soulmate. I feel like you have been feeling a little down in a feel that you have been feel felt lately like nothing is going to change and you're never going to find that person or that person is never going to find you. But it's telling you you have to have faith in those things and trust the path, trust the journey. Your financial and your soulmate, it is coming. Again, your commitment has been tested though. You have to have trust and faith in the universe though and that's why it's happening. Cause I feel for some of you, you um, whenever things get rough, you tend to like just give up. Not all of you, some of you. And they're telling you, well, if you really want this, you gotta show me that you believe in me, you know? And that is the universe telling you that. Let's see. What is the what do you need to release card about? What do Capricorn needs to release? Okay. You got forgiving and learning. And it has to do with the past life relationship. It could be a soulmate connection that you felt like a soulmate connection because that when I see this card, it is a soulmate connection. Um, because there was a lot of chemistry though. There was a lot of chemistry between you two though. But I feel like something did not work or it hasn't take off as you expected. You have to let go of this seems like a karmatic problem kind of thing, you know? You have to be able to let go of this. Because there's new love coming your way. Although it could be the same person, but I don't feel it could be it's the same person. It could be because I'm saying it because, you know, like, yeah, this could happen, that could happen, like people change, right? But this energy seems different than this energy right here. So there's somebody new trying to come your way or will be coming your way. But you have to be able to let go of this um, past life relationship thing. Past life person is like an ex that never worked out. It's like a toxic ex. Well, that's what I'm hearing. A toxic relationship, which means it's like on and off, arguments. There's a lot of like intimacy going on, you know. That's one of the things that you guys like. 
Um, not the only thing, but, like, it is really good. That's what I'm sensing for some of you. But, like, I'm sensing, like, new love. And you have to be able to forgive and, and forget. Uh, no, forgiving and learning. I don't know why I said forget, but maybe you guys need to forget. But either way, uh, it means that, yeah, this person, that, that's your past life. This is the person, uh, relationship, was here to teach you something. For you to be able to feel and, and be complete for your new love person to come in your way. But it's like, you know what you need to release. Is it, are you going to do it? That's the question here, you know? What do you need to see about their commitment being tested? What else do you need to see about that commitment being tested? There's a new beginning. You got the fool. Then you got the five of pentacles. That's somebody from the past. Eight of Swords. There's the other one. Nine of Pentacles. You see? That new person trying to come in. The new beginning. Also, I'm sensing that you guys um, like purple or this person likes purple. Not that it matters, but just so you know. Also, if you guys, some of you like butterflies, and doesn't really matter, but I'm just sensing it. <laughs> and also, yeah, this is you, Capricorn. Um, if you haven't have it already, just get an um, amethyst crystal. It's going to help you a lot this time. Strength here. You might be dealing with a Leo. That could be the new person. It could be another Capricorn. It could be a Virgo. It could be a Sagittarius, though. Um, here, it's like you have to have find strength for you to be able to move on from whoever you know you're dealing with and that is not the best for you if, make, if I'm making sense. Why? Why am I saying this? Because there's a transformation happening or will be happening if it hasn't happened yet. But I see you being stuck in something in the past. Um, it's like summer wanting to come, but you'll be stuck in winter. Maybe something happened in winter and that's why it's so hard for you. Or that's why it's like showing you this and maybe like, you know, going back with the seasons. Every time winter comes, something comes back into your head and like makes you feel sad. But I feel like also it could be that you are a single parent or it could be that you're taking care of yourself. But you're taking care of yourself in a sad way. Like you're like trying to get over something but you feel so sad that you're unable to or you're feeling sorry for yourself. That's what I'm sensing also. But it's like how is this new beginning going to come? How is like your change your changes will come to you if you actually don't embrace it or you actually want to stay in the same situation that you are, you know? Because I feel like you're waiting on something, waiting on somebody, even though you say you don't, but I feel you are. And whatever it is, it's hurting you a lot. And it's like not letting you move, you know? And there's, again, transformation coming your way. There's a new beginning coming your way. And also, I feel like for some of you, the fool is also somebody naive, right? So what I'm sensing is that you, even though that this person hurt you a lot, this person that I'm talking about, the past life relationship, that is telling you that you need to release, right? Or that you should release, right? It's like you're still hoping and waiting on somebody. I feel like you're waiting on this person to change um, or the situation to change. And it's like you're like sitting, waiting on something, you know, that in a long time hasn't done, hasn't moved, but you're still waiting on that. Eight of Swords in reverse. I feel like you feel that like you can't do much about it. It's like, oh, I'm feeling this way. Oh, this is da 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 da. And I can't do much about it. Yes, you can. It's just that is just your head. This is you thinking that you can't, that you have no other option, no other choices, that you can't do much about it. But it's telling you that you do have a lot of options. You do have the answer to your problems. It's like, just get up of that situation. Like, if you feel like like this lady, you know, if she only, if she gets up and carries her son towards the light, which is going to be the new beginning, she'll be fine. Of course, it's going to be heavy because if, like, the baby also represents burdens, a lot of challenges and all that, you know, it could be that money-wise also. But if you don't move and you, like, sit and just try to hide, how are things going to improve if you just hide and, like, hope for the best, you know? 
sometimes we gotta get up even if it, if it's cold even if it's hard and just do it you know but it's like you're saying to yourself oh this is not i i can't do much about it but you can you can't do much about it and it's like i know this person meant a lot to you but you know deep down and this is not gonna resonate with everybody but whoever needs to hear this you know deep down that this person is not gonna change at least not for now and you've been in this situation for a bit so if you have been in this situation for a bit why haven't them changed like wait why did it haven't changed you know what has happened for them to not change you know people just so you know people do know how to do things they just choose not to sometimes and that's a message a message that i'm getting then you have the knight of pentacles and and uh two of pentacles there's somebody trying to come your way there's somebody that is really handsome by the way has short hair brownish hair it could be like from a different place different country different state if you live in the united states um but this is you the capricorn right here trying to balance things out if you're unable to let go of whoever it is that you are dealing with right now you cannot embrace the new the knight of the knight of pentacles you know and that's what it's telling you uh what do you need to release you know because somebody's trying to come in or somebody already came into your life and it's like you can't really uh, connect completely because you're still holding on into that last person and even though you know that person is not good for you, you for some reason you're still holding on to them and i know the heart wants what they want but how are you able to embrace your new um embrace your new beginnings if you're unable to let go of whatever is like putting you in that position of like indecision because this is really close to the hangman you know even though that you don't have your feet tied up you are able you're free to walk and do whatever you please right but you choose not to you choose to like be indecisive you know and again it goes back to this like you have the answers you have the choice but yet again you choose to stay where you don't where you like you choose to stay whenever whatever it is that you're not happy you know And I'm going to ask for that connection, that's the past life connection, to see what it is. How does uh, Capricorn's past life connection person feel towards, um, towards them, towards Capricorn? Things are just flying. I don't take jumpers like that. <laughs> Let's see. One card at a time, or two cards at a time, please. Please, thank you. You might be dealing with a Libra, just so you know. I said Leo. Okay. So, let me see how to put them on the deck. Page of Pentacles in reverse. It's like they know, they know um, how in, like valuable you are, but they, this was in reverse by the way, the, I just want to show you, pentacles, uh, page of pentacles in reverse. It's like they know that this relationship with you, if they were to decide to do it, has potential and they know how valuable you are and they know how much you've been waiting, they know how, pati how patient you've been with them, but they don't seem to care much, you know, they don't seem to care to keep you waiting you know because they feel like for some of you again this is not for everybody they feel like they they can make you or keep you waiting forever and you're not gonna leave you know what i'm saying like they feel like they could keep you uh waiting for 200 years and you're gonna stay there waiting for them faithfully that is why they don't change because whenever they do you wrong you take them back right away you know and this is the high priestess I mean, they know that you're intuitive. They know that you are just one of a kind. Yet again, we are here, right? Also, this means that this is a person who is like not completely honest. And you know that this person is not completely honest. They, this uh, factors, factors of their life that you don't really know. And you would like to know, but they don't tell you, you know, like, where are you? sometimes like are you in the friend's house are you with your sisters you know you don't even know much about their family because they don't want to tell you you know 
there's the person that keeps their part of their life's uh, secret from you for a reason. Also, there's that person too that knows how to not manipulate, I don't want to use that word, but like how to use their words to get what they want. And that's what I'm sensing with my intuition here. Then the strength card and then the justice card. There's This person is actually a really strong person, the person that we're talking about. And they um, could be, if they wanted to, a person that can, get, that can do a give and take. You know, like this person, if you feel like, oh, they, they just don't know. Yes, they know. They know about right and wrong. They know how to act. They know. But they just choose not to because this is like who they are. This this is like how they how capable they are on of doing right things right, you know? They're capable to do the things right. They're capable to like be faithful. They cap they're capable of like whatever you think, like, oh no, they're unavailable, they just don't know better. They know better. And it's telling you right here that they knew they do better, they know better, but they just don't do it. Because they're aware, because they don't actually they just act however they want with whoever they want you know and this is like they would they could act like this if they want to but this right here but i'm sensing right here three of cups in reverse even if you think or they're telling you that they're done with um uh, let, let's say that they're telling you that they are exclusive with you they might not be and that is why the high priestess came here like secrets like not being completely honest and i feel like some of you are aware or have like that little idea of like they might not be exclusive right so they're not and they're like partying sometimes they're like you know flirting here and there drinking here and there they might like wine just so you know it might not be important if this could be a pisces also just so you know a libra pisces leo um virgo i don't know if i said it but like i see a lot of leo either way it's like they they might not be telling you that they're not being exclusive, but they are not. Like, they're not being exclusive with you. And it's something that you had it in the back of your head, but this is just the answer to that. King of Swords right here. They are a person, again, this person has short hair. If this person that you asking, like, the past life relationship thing, person um, is a really handsome person. And it's really tall in that end. They might have an accent or they might have some, the way of the, um, that they speak is something that you like, right? But it's like they just like right now they just like are hunters like they just want they want you they want you but they don't want you the way you want you want them like you want them exclusively just them you want a relationship with them you know you want them to love you right but they are unable to because right now they're just hurting other people also because i feel like they're just a flirt and they don't commit to anybody or they're not committed to anybody as of right now so this person doesn't seem to be interested in in being in a committed relationship as it right now. So if you're gonna stay with this person instead of going with the new, just so you know that they're not they don't seem to want to change. They know they are capable, they just don't want to change right now. Cause right now they like their freedom. They like their freedom, they like the um, emotion of like being in different in different relationships, the knowing new people, you know, that thrive that we get when we are knowing somebody somebody new you know that's what they like and right now they're enjoying that part of their life you know so if you're expecting somebody and that is the past life relationship this is a person that you've been dealing with recently um that is an on and off and stuff like that you know and just so you know they don't seem to be interested in committing to you or anybody they're enjoying their freedom enjoying partying enjoying like being here and there they they enjoy that so i don't see them wanting to change as it right now again they're able to but right now they don't choose to and then five of ones and they don't even feel guilty about it just so you know they don't feel guilty about it they don't feel like they're doing anything wrong because i feel they i feel they feel they they that you know about this even if you don't know exactly but it's like well they knew me like this and they accepted it so so be it you know that's the kind of vibe that i'm getting so if you feel like they feel guilty because they're hurting you because they're not being exclusive and they're just going back and forth with other people not only hooking up but like talking to other people texting to other people and all that and all that i feel like you go into his facebook their facebook their ig or so to make sure they're being good and you see like new people being added to their profile 
comments here and there and you know like it's mo mostly like people that you know that they could be into and you can see you start seeing the comments on the photos and you see a lot of flirtation going on so yes that's not going to change for now because they they like that they like their freedom once again so and they don't feel, again they don't feel guilty if you feel like oh they feel bad they don't feel guilty even if they say they feel they'll feel bad they're lying to you they don't feel bad about it because they feel like you know and they feel like you are okay with it and they feel like you're not gonna leave they feel like you're not gonna do anything about it you know like they're like oh she he's not gonna leave i'm not saying you are i'm not saying you should because at the end of the day it is your life it is your, your choice but you have to be aware of things, you know? Whatever you choose is your choice, is your life, right? The universe is not going to be like, oh, you should do this. No, they're just giving you insights, right? But just so you know, if you choose to be in this relationship, things are not going to improve as it right now. What is the um, advice for Capricorn? What is the advice for Capricorn? Okay, let me eat. No, let me start here. Wait, wait, wait. So, two of swords and temperance, though. Again, there's two things for you. Temperance card. It is the new, the new person that the universe is trying to send you. So you can actually see what a give and take relationship is. But this right here, two of swords, is you not being able to make a, a choice, make a decision, though. And it's like you feeling like you are stuck, but you're not stuck. You have wings. You can fly. You can take off that that blindfold and just fly away. But it's up to you. You want to stay there or not? And I feel like with time, with the time, you're gonna be able to realize that you could have it all. Sometimes it could be too late. But I say like never, like never is too late. You know, never say it's too late. Like there is, there's never a reason to think that. There's never. It's never too late to change. It's never too late to start a career. You know. So for me, it's never too too late to embrace toxicity or something that's hurting you you know but it seems to be like the choices will be coming in soon so you have to be prepared for that you know so again you are not stuck you don't have to feel this way forever you don't have to feel hurt forever you're able to just spring your um uh, spread your wings and fly but i feel like you're gonna realize that within time high priestess and the start this person, past life relationship, you know it's not going to bring you happiness. It's not going to bring you what you want. This person, it will. It seems like this person is not going to be able to love you the way you want them to love you. This person is going to love you the way they know, which is going to be selfish, thinking about them. And it's not putting you first, it's putting you besides them, you know? Because a relationship is caring for you, caring for the other person, you know? Nobody's first or second. We are equal. And this person doesn't seem to be able to do that. So, just so you know, if you want to stay there, the universe is telling you, they are not the one. They are not the one for you. They're not going to give you what you want. And what are they telling you? Queen of Wands, take your want, take your offer and leave. Be strong and leave. That's the, out not the outcome, but like the advice. Page of Cups, why are you always offering your cup to people who don't want it? When you're able to take it all and leave, you know, they're out. They tell you, please take your cup and leave. Because why are you, when you can be this queen, you're going to be the page. Like giving your cup to whoever doesn't want it, to whoever is not appreciated, appreciating, appreciating your cup. Woo, English, right? Sorry about that. But either ways, it's up to you. They're telling you, be aware that you're not stuck, Capricorn. You can spread your wings and fly. Again, you're going to realize that within time. This person that you want, the past life relationship that you're like so stuck on, they're not going to be able to give you what you want. You should actually take your stuff and leave. But if you want to keep your uh, keep offering them your cup, it's up to you. Either way, I hope this has helped you. I wish you the best. Again, you don't have to go by what the tarot says. 
it's your life it's your choice just do whatever you think is best for you i'm sorry that this video was really really long but the universe had a message and i had to deliver it blessings for all of you and again like and subscribe and i'll be posting more videos more often blessings